Well, here we are at uh, Glastonbury Festival 2013. And the irony of the whole thing is that I'm actually being made to engineer my own interview. I'm going to be interviewing Mark Edwards and Jason Baird about Martin Audio and RG Jones at the festival over the past however many years it is. The sun's shining, everything's lovely. And I'm going to answer the first question myself from 2007, and that is how long RG Jones have been providing sound provision for the Pyramid stage. Exhibit A. Well, the the uh, Martin Audio Longbow system was first used at Glastonbury in 2008 and we spent about three or four months in, uh, in planning the deployment of the system and we had some nice 3D software where we could actually show the festival organisers how loud it was going to be, not just on the site but off the site as well. Mark, why do we think that Longbow is the festival's preferred system for the pyramid stage? Yeah, control it really well. We can manage the off-site noise through some zoning of the system and it's a great sounding PA as well. It's everything you need in this situation where it's got to be all things to all men. And it's well behaved off-site too. And it's well behaved the off-site. Likes a lot. We were quite confident that when we deployed it we knew how the system was going to operate. No, it was a quite a rapid learning curve during the, the first two setup days back in 2008. I think between the experience that we all possess we rapidly got, to, got a handle on it. Plain sailing ever since. Absolutely. We zone the top four boxes of every array. Uh, there's eight arrays in total, four main, four delays. And that enables us to bring the coverage in should we start to get close to the limit off sight without affecting the audience too much. And that gives us the control to calm it down. We do a, quite a long propagation test where we test uh, turning down different zones of the system and then we get the data back from off site and that allows us to make more educated decisions should it get a bit leery. I think when we were doing um, our propagation test, Mark walked behind the subs and he had to walk back in front of them again to make sure they were switched on. So um, I think that was quite a, quite a powerful um, thumbs up. Quite bold with back in 2008, it was probably the largest deployment of, uh, of a broadside and, and cardioid array that we'd ever done. And that's been able to allow us to control the, the, the spread of the sub so it just covers the pyramid field and not outside of that, but also have a really quiet stage for the, uh, for the artists as well. And we've also managed to compress the depth of the array this year. Um, it used to be staggered and so it was deeper, it was harder to put in, it took a lot more time, whereas now we've managed to get even better performance just from a straight deployment without any, uh, any staggering required. I remember like, the first time I heard it, you could stand up the field and it was like you could almost see the wave front coming up yeah. the field. It was amazing. Yeah, yeah. We've certainly sold a few people on horizontal sub array. Particularly the Muse guys, they loved it. Uh, gorillas were pretty happy with it as well. Great. Uh, well, um, thanks chaps. Uh, another marvellous, sunny, successful year. Uh, best story or anecdote? I've hardly been here, so I'm the wrong person to ask. <laughs>